Good morning everybody, this is MK and I'm back. Today we are looking at technology, grade 9, term 4, and the topic is preserving metals. Let's look at the introduction. More than 70 different metals are used in industry. Some metals can be used in their pure state, but often metals are mixed with other metals or non-metals to form an alloy. Alloys have different properties from the pure metals. This allows metals to be adapted to be used in a particular way. Before we continue, let's look at some key words. Alloy, a metal combined with other metals. The properties of the metal are changed. Different combinations are created to suit particular purposes and needs. Ferrous metals, metals that contain iron. Metals can be divided into two main groups, ferrous metals, metals that contain iron, and non-ferrous metals, metals that do not contain iron. Pure iron is too soft to use in industry. Adding carbon to the iron produces an alloy called steel. The properties and uses of steel depend on the amount of carbon added. Here's some more key words. Non-ferrous metals, metals that do not contain iron, ferric oxide or rust. The reddish brown substance found on ferrous metals formed when metals containing iron come into contact with oxygen in the presence of water. Corrosion is the gradual destruction of metals and alloys by a chemical reaction with oxygen and water. Corrosion gradually damages or degrades the useful properties of materials and structures including strength, appearance and permeability to liquids and gases. Ferric oxide Rust is the most common form of corrosion. Ferrous metals rust easily, forming a reddish-brown coating called iron oxide when the metal reacts with oxygen and water in the air. The process is speeded up by sodium chloride salt. Non-ferrous metals can also corrode but do not form rust. Metals can be preserved in different ways. In this video, we examine three techniques that are used to improve the lifespan of metals and alloys. Painting, galvanizing and electroplating. Painting and galvanizing. Rust is caused by the corrosion of iron and iron alloys through oxidation. Oxidation is the reaction of a metal with oxygen. The reaction is speeded up by the addition of salt or sodium chloride. Painting is a cheap way of preserving ferrous metals. Some more key words. Oxidation, a chemical reaction in which a substance combines with oxygen or loses hydrogen or electrons. Galvanizing, the term used when a protective layer of zinc is applied to iron or steel to prevent it from rusting. Here are two more keywords for you to understand. Electroplating, a method of galvanizing in which a coating of zinc is applied to a metal by electrolysis. Electrolysis, a method of splitting the elements in a compound by passing an electric current through the compound when it is in a solution. 
electrolyte, a solution that can conduct an electric current. Painting, the most common method used to prevent rust forming on metal is to paint the exposed surface. The problem with this protective technique is that any small area where the paint may chip or becomes exposed to air containing oxygen and water and rust will form. Paint forms a barrier between air and the inner metal. For this method to work well, the metal must be prepared correctly. It is important to choose the correct paint to suit the purpose of the metal. Let's look at the process of how to prepare metals for painting. Firstly, you need to thoroughly clean the metal surface and make sure you are working in a dust-free area. For maximum protection, three coats should be applied, the primer, the undercoat and the top coat. The primer is the first coat and its function is to form a very strong bond between the metal and the undercoat. The undercoat is applied to the primer. The top coat provides resistance to ultraviolet light and weathering and gives the desired finish to the metal. Always paint awkward areas first. Two thin coats of top coat are better than one thick coat. And lastly, keep brushes clean and make sure the paint tin lids are properly sealed. Galvanizing. Galvanizing is a method used to protect iron or steel by covering it with a layer of zinc. Zinc is used because it is resistant to corrosion. The most cost-effective way of galvanizing is to immerse the iron or steel in a bath of liquid zinc at a temperature of 460 degrees Celsius. This is called hot dip galvanizing. This process produces a thick, durable, hard-wearing, dull grey coating that makes the metal very suitable for outdoor use. A second method of galvanizing is by electroplating. In this process, a coating of zinc is applied to the metal by electrolysis. Electrolysis is a process where an electric current is passed through an electrolyte. An electrolyte is a solution that can conduct electricity because it has positive and negative charges in it. Electroplating coatings are usually thin and reflect brightly in the same way as a mirror. This means that they are more suitable for use indoors. When iron and steel have been galvanized, they will resist corrosion, even when exposed to air and moisture. Did you know the term galvanized is named after the Italian scientist Luigi Galvani. Galvani did many experiments involving electric charges and animal muscles. And sadly, we are done for today. Thank you for watching and most importantly learning. This is MK's class, signing out.